Welcome to Shaker Ridge. I'm Mark Jorgensen. And I'm Mike Decker, and welcome back to Tip Tuesday. This week, we actually had a request from one of our longtime golf uh, staff members, Mateo. He was wondering, how do I hit that shot where I got to hit it high and soft, but I got a bunker in front of me? Now, there's a few things that you definitely want to do when you're going to try to hit one of those shots. First thing is going to be ball position. Ball position cannot be in the back of your stance since that promotes a lower ball flight. So the first thing we're gonna do is move it off the front foot. That way, when the club's coming in, it has a lot more loft on it, which is gonna get it up in the air. You also wanna try to visualize hitting the ball more straight up and down. You almost visualize hitting it up into the sky rather than out to the target. So we're gonna have a nice wide stance, similar to a bunker shot. Have a little bit, little bit of an open stance so my alignment is pointing left to my target and ball position off the front foot. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the club down and we're gonna pull, pull the club back a little bit because as you pull the shaft handle back, it adds loft onto the club. As you push it forward, it de-lofts the club. So you want to almost straight up and down, maybe even pull back slightly to add as much loft to the club as you can. The key with this shot is since you have a lot of loft, the ball is going to go a lot more straight up and down rather than to the target. So you're going to have to take a big swing and accelerate. It's a little scary, but you got to really commit to the shot to pull it off. So we got wide stance, little open ball positions forward and I open that club face, pull the handle back. Now, I'm gonna to try to have soft hands. I can kind of take a nice, long, lazy swing, nice, loose grip, and you're gonna to wanna to accelerate. You're gonna to try to slide that leading edge of the club right under the ball and accelerate to the target. It's gonna look a little something like this. Nice shot, Mike. One of the key things that Mike did here that he didn't mention was he had the, the club make the thud on the ground. And what he did is he did remove some grass. So it's real important that the club bottom out. And also, probably the biggest fault of most amateur golfers is they leave the ball short, ends up going in the bunker. And the reason for that is they don't accelerate through the shot all the way and if you saw Mike swing he did accelerate all the way through and his ball went up in the air landed soft because of the good cell acceleration plus he got the club down low enough to, to do the job try it maybe it'll work for you